This is one of the nicest places to fly. It's usually pretty calm, uh, weather's usually pretty decent. It is indeed a beautiful day, a great day for flying. And that's exactly what we're doing in the skies above the shoe swap. Terry Bach, a veteran pilot, is flying us today in a 1982 vintage Cessna 172. Terry is a true BC bush pilot and has been flying for a long time in places like Williams Lake, Bella Bella, the Lower Mainland, and now the Shoe Swamp. I learned to fly actually in 1966 when I was in high school actually and uh, learned to fly in the summer and then went back and finished school and uh, got my commercial when I was about 22 or 3 and then I flew as an instructor and float pilot and, and so on. Not a bad way to make a living, eh? No, uh, it's it's something you uh, enjoy, it gets in your blood, and uh, still do it. They've got great club members here, and I still I do their check rides. From up here, you can clearly see the damage from the flooding of the Shuswap River. Terry is one of 50 odd members of the Salmon Arm Flying Club. 27 of those members actually fly this plane, and the club's main role is to get people enthused about flying. This club was formed in 1967 and the membership of that day actually responsible for building the clubhouse here and many of the members responsible for building the airport as well. Like they tore away dirt and, and made sure there was an active runway here. We're a non-profit organization and we are just a club but our reason for being here is to promote aviation. We uh, provide flights to a lot of the local clubs like the Rotary Club and the Trail Alliance and things like that so we donate flights to them. Yep. We do the Copa for Kids so we're constantly in aviation. Terry even let me have a go at the controls, and wow, flying an airplane is pretty darn exciting, especially when you get to bank it on the turns. He even had me guiding it back towards the airport before, thankfully, taking over and landing the plane. You did a great job. <laughs> I did enjoy that because I'm used to teaching, so at the beginning of it, you don't want to say too much to a student, but you did great. You just let you fly it, and you fixed it, and it turned out pretty good. <laughs> it did. Of course, the hardest part's landing, right? Well, it looks like to be the hardest, but not really. No. Once you get a set up, it's airplane pretty well takes care of itself. Also dropping by at the airport on this day is a vintage plane, a 1948 Cessna 195. The Flying Club is resurrecting an event once held frequently at the Shuswap Regional Airport. Brought back in 2010, the club is hoping to hold Airport Appreciation Day every two years now. And on Sunday, the public is invited to come out and see the airport and the planes. Expect a pancake breakfast, a car show and shine, some aerobatic stunts in the air, and a chance to go for a flight yourself. We're going to have two aerobatic acts, a pit special and a Harvard, which they're both, uh, well, the Harvard's a World War II aircraft. We're going to have the RAP attack base over here do a water drop. The members of the firefighting teams over there are going to repel from a helicopter in the midfield here. This year we're partnering with uh, Shoe Swap Emergency Preparedness. They're going to have an expose of all of their equipment, uh, rescue and fire trucks and all that stuff. They're going to have the jaws of life here. They're going to do some extractions. People come through the gate, they fill out a little tab, and they put the name in a bin, and we'll draw at 1.30, and three people will be able to go for a flight. Visit SalmonArmFlyingClub.com for all the details. Flying high above the shoe swap, I'm Tim Morton for Shaw.